What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the three Lady Bing finalists: uh, Alexander Barkov, Andrzej Kopitar, and Louis Erickson. Um, you know, three very deserving candidates for gentlemanly conduct and sportsmanship uh, with high standard of playing ability. So basically, be good and don't get a lot of penalties is the uh, the key thing here. Good to see Louis Erickson after the year he had get some recognition. You know, obviously he had a you know kind of a bounce back year for the Bruins and we'll be looking to cash in as a free agent this summer. I think having you know a little bit of hardware to go when you go to market will will definitely boost his value, which should be you know, high enough as it is. Erickson had 63 points in uh, 12 penalty minutes in 82 games. Uh, Kobe Tar had uh, 74 points, played 81 games, was a second in the league in plus minus, played. Uh, 21 minutes a game, and I think he had 12 penalty minutes, 16 penalty minutes. And then Barkov had 8 penalty minutes in 66 games to go along 59 points. If it were up to me, it'd be Barkov, Kopitar, then Erickson, because I think out of the three of them, Barkov's year was actually the best if you watch him play consistently. Um, on the flip side of the coin, I think it'll go Kopitar, Barkov, Erickson. So, you know, either way, goes for deserving candidate. I just think... You know, Barkov had half the penalty minutes, and uh, his level of play was as good as Kopitar's for, you know, stretches of the season. And again, you know, he, he's going to be one of the better two-way centers in the game for a long time. And I think he should have gotten more uh, more recognition for his defensive play in terms of, you know, maybe getting a Selkie nomination. But I don't think he's going to sulk about it. You know, Florida took some steps forward this season. He was a big reason why. And, uh, you know, I think he'll be... You know, a guy that wins a lot of hardware in the next couple of years. So, you know, if he wins it, great. If not, you know, Kopitar is obviously one of the better players in the game. So, can't take it away from him. And then, again, Louis Erickson had a very, you know, good year and did not go to the penalty box a lot. So, three deserving candidates. You can make a compelling case for any of the three of them. But if we're up to, if we're up to me, it'd be Barkov, number one, and then Kopitar and Erickson. But it's probably going to be Barkov and Kopitar switched. But stranger things have happened. Anyway. That's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.